All right, so continuing the series of demonstrating some training stuff, I want to show you what zone two looks like. I talk about it an awful lot, but I want you to kind of see how we manage it. It's primarily managed through RPE, rate of perceived exertion. And as I've said before, I'm not really using my heart rate at all to determine where I'm gonna be, nor do I have a particular power target. Today, I'm averaging 225 watts. Over the past two weeks, it's been as high as 230, as low as 218. Heart rate today, right now, about 137. It's been as high as 142, as low as 134, meaning throughout the past couple of weeks. I do check my lactate using this device at the end of each ride, targeting 1.7 to 1.9. My range for the past two weeks has been as low as 1.3 and as high as, as 2.0. But you don't need to worry about any of that stuff. This is what you need to worry about. As you can see, I can carry out a conversation. It's just not that comfortable. I'd much rather shut up and listen to a podcast or an audiobook. But if I have to talk, I can. And I've spent some zone twos on the phone the entire time. Not particularly enjoyable for the person on the other line, I'm sure. But that's really your litmus test. So don't get hot up, caught up in what your watts are and what heart rate is as a percentage of maximum heart rate. Don't worry about any of that stuff. Just reproduce this level of exertion. I like to do it on a bike indoors because it's steady state. But you can do it on a treadmill. You can do it on the Stairmaster. You can do it walking really quickly, provided the elevation is somewhat consistent. You can run, you can swim, just produce this level of exertion. I wanna spend at least three hours a week in this zone, um, but if you're just starting out, you might wanna do three times 20 minutes a week. There you have it, zone two.